is up everybody, I'm Star Lord and welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to be doing a very awesome glitch video on Pokemon Brick Bronze. This is actually a brand new glitch, which I actually didn't find. My good friend Robosloth Gaming, whose channel will be in the description guys, go and subscribe to him. He actually found this glitch and uh, yeah, it's extremely awesome. It's basically called the Sky Launcher glitch. I guess that's probably the easiest way to call it because... You basically launch into the sky and you can land on top of huge buildings. It's extremely cool, but it is definitely the hardest glitch I have ever done in Pokemon Brick Bronze. But fortunately for me, we actually got on top of the building that you're seeing right now. Look at that. We're actually actually on top of like the crane outside of Tin Bell Tower, which it, I think it's going to be something pretty huge later on in the game because they actually have like a ladder there and they blocked it off and the original kind of thing was we wanted to see if there was some kind of like invisible pokeball on the like crane or something if we glitched up there and we set our minds on it and we actually got up there glitched on top of it which is crazy definitely the hardest glitch uh, but anyway guys don't forget to leave a like if you do enjoy today's video and uh, yeah make sure that you subscribe if you're new to the channel uh, but here we are anyway we're gonna get straight into the guide and uh, right here we're outside of the construction site in tin bell tower so there you can see my little dude and uh, there's someone in the background and um, basically this is where we need to go for the gl glitch like this is probably the easiest and best place to do it if i'm honest and we're gonna get on top of there right there that huge crane, which seems impossible, but it isn't, guys. It isn't impossible. We can do this. Uh, so here we are in Timbell Tower, and we're just going to run through. And if you've never been up here, there are a couple of Pokemon battles. And if you do want to run in without getting, like, uh, encountered by a Pokemon, you definitely need to have some max repels because there is just crazy Machamps and Machokes or whatever everywhere here. So, yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do is go up this ladder right here. And uh, let me just put on another repel. And uh, if we just go around this corner, you will see this dude right here standing here. And this is the person that we're going to be glitching inside of. So what we're going to do is use our Mega Salamance board to do the sideways glitch, which I actually did in a previous video. And as you can see right there, we actually just launched into the sky from going inside of him. He like launches us into the sky. And what is really cool is that every now and then when doing this glitch, we can kind of get loose from him and kind of control where we're going to land. So basically what we do is go to the back of him, kind of space out a little bit of distance and then press R. Now, like I said, it's a very difficult glitch to do guys only really experienced glitches i would say would be able to do this glitch because uh yeah first of all you know you need to know how to do the mega salamance board glitch and uh yeah then you also need to know how to actually do this uh, so anyway this is the footage of me actually getting it i actually launched up and then i missed it i missed it by an inch and uh, i was pretty sad about that i was like oh this is this is poop because we had already been trying it for like 10 or 15 minutes before I actually did that. Robosloth already did it because he's the founder of the glitch so he's like nose and then I got it again but then I couldn't control where I landed and then I fell down. So yeah, I really messed up on that one. So that's just like a little preview of how hard it can actually be to kind of control this glitch. You really need to be experienced at glitching on this. And I also want to see if any of you guys do get this glitch, make sure to take a screenshot and definitely send it to my Twitter. Uh, but anyway, right here is the actual gameplay of me doing it and actually getting on top of the crane with Robosloth. And look how high I go right now, guys. It's extremely cool look at that i'm so high up and i just landed down robo soft was like oh my god you did it you did it i was like i did it i did it i was going crazy and um we actually like kind of explored the crane unfortunately there was nothing here but i do believe that there is going to be something added to this in the future because there is kind of like at the bottom of the crane there is a ladder that you can actually go up and down of but it's blocked off and they've done it on purpose. Now, if you guys actually saw my previous video, uh, which was about Ho-Ho -Ho -Oh and Lugia, um, you will know that I believe Ho-Ho -Oh, or Ho-Ho, -Oh, Ho-Ho, -Oh, there you go, is go. <laughs> I'm rhyming too much. But basically, I think that legendary bird is going to spawn here. And I 
kind of believe that you have to go up this crane or something, go to the very edge here, and actually have to do something. And maybe, like, Ho-Oh, like, flies and, like, kind of does something? I don't really know. I'm not 100% sure, but that's just kind of my theory anyway. But uh, we got up here. Unfortunately, there wasn't really much to explore, but still, it is very awesome to be up here. And uh, I just kind of wanted to show off this glitch because this glitch works with other people. You don't have to do it on that one person. You can go to Antian City and try and get on top of the golden Pokeball by doing it. I would just like to see if any of you guys do try and do this glitch, please be sure to make videos about it or even send a screenshot of where you got to um, it, on my Twitter. My Twitter is in the description uh, below. So yeah, just kind of go and follow it. If you do use this glitch and you do get on top of the crane, I would genuinely like to see how many of you can do this glitch. And if you can and you send a picture through my Twitter, I would like to maybe give away a Pokemon to you. And it'll be either a shiny Pokemon, like a rare shiny, or a rare legend, which is like, you know, a Mew or something like that. So, if you take a picture of you on top of this kind of um, construction building thing, um, and send it to my Twitter, I will actually reward you guys with a Pokemon, a shiny or a legend. Depends on what you want, and depends on if I even have any left, because I only have two Mews. So, I guess the first person gets a Mew, guys. The first person to get up here gets a Mew, and uh, yeah, I genuinely just can't wait to see anybody using this in-game, because it's such an awesome glitch. You basically just have to go at the back of the NPC so that you're to their back, use the Mega Salamence board to kind of go sideways, and then you kind of just get lucky, and you fly into the air it's absolutely crazy definitely cannot wait to see this and uh, login hdi if you're watching this i would like to see you try it too because i know you like doing glitches too so yeah uh, but anyway guys that is pretty much been it for today's quick video it is very fun very difficult to do uh, but still i thought i'd show you guys because it was very awesome and a very awesome accomplishment uh, but basically remember robosloft uh, Lo robo gaming's youtube channel is in the description guys go and follow him or go and subscribe to him for more Pokemon Brick Bronze videos, glitches, he does a few glitches, and uh, yeah, he definitely does guides, and he also does giveaways, he actually does giveaways a lot, uh, like Robux giveaways, and also, like, Pokemon giveaways, so go and subscribe to him, guys, and tell him Star-Lord sent ya, uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I've been Star-Lord, oh, see ya!